Hi, my name is Rob, and today we're going to be taking a look at the admin account within Liferay DXP. So, as you can see, I've started up my instance of Liferay DXP. I'm going to go ahead and click on the sign in, and I'm going to sign in as my administrative user. Now, the credentials for my admin are actually the same as the default, which is test at liferay.com. Put in my password. And as you can see, I now have access as an administrative user to a number of different features. In fact, I have the ability to create, modify, and delete sites, users, pages, as well as perform all, all number of administrative tasks. So you can see I have access to my site menu over here, as well as our global menu up here. So now if I wanted to change some info for the admin user, I can do that by clicking on my little user avatar here. I go down to account settings. For example, if I wanted to change my password from the default, which of course we highly recommend you do. And from here, I can go ahead and change any number of my account settings. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and change my password. So I'll put in my current password and I'll enter a new better password. And click save. And there now my password has been updated. If I wanted to change some more general information, I can change for example, the name associated with the admin user. Uh, in this case, I can go ahead and change it to my name, Robert Huff. I'm going to keep it as test at liferay.com uh, for the email address. However, of course, you could change that to your own email address or the email address of whoever your admin user is going to be. We'll go ahead and save that. And now you can see that my user menu here uh, displays my name. So we'll go ahead and go back to our main site. Now, if I wanted to sign out as my administrative user, I could, of course, go down here, click sign out. And when you see that, uh, you can see that I no longer have access to those administrative menus. So uh, I'll go ahead and sign back in. So if I wanted to create a new admin user, I would first have to create a new user. So I can do that by going ahead and going to the global menu and the control panel, down to this section that says users and organizations. So as you can see at the moment, we only have uh, myself, who is a current administrative user. But if we wanted to add another one, we can go ahead and hit this add icon here to add a new user. So we'll need to input a screen name for them. We'll go ahead and say a.user, admin.user at liferay.com, because wouldn't you know it, our admin user is in fact himself named admin user. Very handy. We'll click save. So at this point, we have gone ahead and created a new user. Now, in order to make him officially an admin user, we'll go over to roles. And under regular roles, we'll go ahead and choose administrator. We'll click save. So as you can see, we have officially assigned our new user the role of administrator, which means if I were to sign out at the moment, and re-sign in as admin user, then I would have the same permissions as I currently have access to now. So there we go. We've taken a look at the admin user as well as created a new admin user for our instance of Liferay DXP. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.